I'm Evan Leroy and this is New School Barbecue. Leroy and Lewis Barbecue is a little blue food truck off South Congress in Austin, Texas that cooks locally sourced barbecue on homemade pits. We try our best to honor where barbecue comes from while respectfully adding our own modern touches. These are our recipes, methods, travels, and stories. This is New School Barbecue. What's up, barbecue fans? Evan Leroy here. Before we get started with our braised cabbage and sausage recipe video, I just want to say thanks to all the subscribers and supporters and viewers out there. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that right now so you can get notified whenever we post videos here, which is every Wednesday morning. These videos were originally published on our Patreon, which was our media-focused pandemic pivot for Leroy and Lewis. It worked out super well for us, and it turned out to be a really fun project, and it's a way that we can really share what goes on day-to-day -day in the restaurant, our real recipes, our real techniques, and real things that happen here with a much wider audience than would have just come to the food truck. If you want to see more of these videos, head on over to our Patreon and subscribe there. For $30 a month, you get new videos every week. We post them on Sunday nights. Everything from menu items, specials, whole animal breakdowns, events, meats, sides, sausages, you name it, there's more than a hundred videos on the Patreon. Go subscribe there. Or if you want, you can wait and they will show up here in this feed a couple years later. Which is why I'm here updating you on any changes to the cabbage and sausage recipe that have happened since this video was originally published on June 3rd of 2020. This is still almost a 100% reuse recipe, which us chefs really like because it means we get to take stuff that would have gone in the trash and reuse it and make money off of it. The only way that a food truck like ours can be successful while also sourcing really expensive meat from local farms is to make sure that every single gram of product that comes into our restaurant is utilized in a way that is creative and delicious and that can make money. You'll see Brad in this video add a little bit of caraway seed and mustard seed to the braising cabbage. We don't do that anymore, but upon re-watching this video recently for this republish of it, I kind of want to add the mustard seeds back in because that little pop of texture might be really good in this recipe. The only other thing we changed is instead of the Worcestershire sauce at the end, we add some apple cider vinegar. It kind of rounds out the sweetness and acidity. Other than that, this recipe is almost exactly the same. It's just braised down cabbage and some beer and then leftover sausage. Finish it with a little mustard and vinegar and then it's tangy, it's meaty, it's really kind of braised down. It really has a German flavor, which I think is kind of an overlooked flavor profile in Texas barbecue for the most part. This dish can be taken a few different ways too. If you replace the green cabbage with red cabbage and add a little extra sugar and some bacon, it all of a sudden is the exact same technique but has a completely different flavor profile and look. All that being said, enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe, go subscribe to our Patreon and I'll see you next week barbecue fans. Welcome back patrons to another video on the Leroy and Lewis Patreon page where this week we are tackling another one of our all time best selling side dishes and one of my personal favorites which is beer braised cabbage and sausage. Now the main reason I love this dish so much is because first of all it's delicious it comes out really nice it's got a really strong German flavor profile to it but also from a business standpoint we're using a lot of product that would normally end up in the trash can. One of those things is all these outer leaves that you see on the cabbage. These are those real thick leaves that, that don't make for good coleslaw. But if we're gonna braise them down, give them a good wash, they come out tasting real nice. All these big thick outer leaves, I give them a rough chop, don't have to be too precise about it. Into the pot they go. Now that we've got that in there, we're also gonna chop up some regular cabbage and throw it in there because this may look like a lot, but once it starts braising down and cooking down, it's gonna reduce by a whole bunch. So, same thing on the cabbage. Just a real rough chop. We bring in a lot of cabbage for our coleslaw, so we always have cabbage on hand. Anything that's not up to that crispy coleslaw texture, it can it goes into this. Because once it's braised down, it don't need no crunch. Oftentimes, too, we'll take all the green leaves off of the cauliflower that we get in, and that'll go into this pot as well. Next step is I'm going to throw in some salt. That's going to help this cabbage start to weep. 
not too much because all the sausage we're going to throw in has a good amount of salt in it already. But this is also a good time to go in and break up any chunks or anything like that. Make Just help the process along. And then we're going to throw in some beer. Today we're sporting delicious bush. Doesn't really matter what beer you go. We usually go with uh, a nice light beer. Not to impart too much flavor, but just help this cabbage break down and make sure nothing's burning on the bottom. Now that we got about six tall boys in here, on to the heat it goes. And we're just gonna let this sit for the next little bit till everything starts breaking down. And, and Clayton comes and says hello. Hello. <laughs> all right, now that the cabbage is braising down, it's time to focus in on the sausage. And this is all of our leftover hop sausage from last week that didn't sell. And it's already been cold smoked, rested, hot smoked, then held for service. So to smoke it again and try and pass it off as fresh sausage would just be a sin. But that being said, it's still really good. It's still got a lot of really good flavor to it and it's gonna go really nice into this moist cooking environment of the braised cabbage and it'll help bring it back to life. And the goal here is to just chop it up into little coins. But as you can see, that's still some really good looking meat. This is a great recipe to do at home too if you uh, order too much barbecue at a barbecue spot you got some leftover sausage or some kielbasa or something lying around. Beer braised cabbage, can't go wrong. Also, this chilled sausage makes for one decent summer sausage. And there we go. So now we're gonna let that cabbage braise down for a bit. If, and then once it uh, starts to weep, we're gonna add in the sausage. If we add in the sausage too soon, it'll start leaching out too much fat and it'll all kind of crumble apart. So to maintain the structural integrity of these cute little coins, we're gonna wait until about two thirds of the way through the braising process to add this in. All right, so it's been about 30, 40 minutes. This cabbage has cooked down really nicely. And I'm gonna go in and add a few other flavors, starting with some caraway seed. If you don't have caraway, fennel is also a really great option. If I had both, I would add both. I'm also gonna add in some yellow mustard seeds. I really like the way these look in the final dish and also adds a nice little punch. about a cup of each and we're gonna let those kind of bloom in there for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna throw our sausage in all right now I'm gonna start adding this sausage in and this is where you can kind of make this dish your own if you add a whole bunch of sausage it's kind of a real meaty side very sausage forward or say you have one link of sausage in the fridge that you need to get rid of you can make it a really cabbage forward so it's more of a veggie dish that's a great way to make a quick weeknight side for any dinner but you know us we're gonna make it pretty meat heavy and now we're gonna let this continue to cook let the fat in there kind of break down and render and this will start looking really nice all right now that everything's cooked down and really gotten to know each other it's time to add the final two ingredients which starts out with a good healthy splash of Worcestershire sauce not too much and then a healthy cup or two of prepared yellow mustard that's kind of what's going to bring out the German vibes in this sausage as well as the mustard seeds we put in earlier it's going to add a nice yellow hue to this sausage and cabbage and just add a wonderful tang Mm -mm -mm. 